Pedal OCR Real is here. This model is a compact document focused vision language model from Baidu, which is just 0.9 billion parameters in size. It pairs a Navit style dynamic resolution vision encoder with Baidu's own Ernie 4.5.3 billion language model to parse whole pages, reading text and understanding layouts, tables, charts and formulas. But for me, the salient feature is its multilinguality. And that is what I am going to check out in this video after getting it installed as it supports 109 languages from across the world. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. I have been covering Baidu's tools like Pedal Pedal and their models like Ernie for a long time so if you are interested in checking out what else is available from Baidu just search my channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it. For now let's get it installed the Pedal OCR VL and then we will see what exactly it can do and other tits and bits around its architecture. So this is my Ubuntu system. This is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. The model is quite compact. You don't really need that much VRAM. You can even run it on CPU. But for the sake of completion, let's do it on CPU. And I am going to install all the prerequisites, which include Torch and Transformer. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. I also want to quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce. Everything is installed. Let me now launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model with the transformers and I'm importing some of the libraries and these are the tasks which I'll be trying out like OCR, table recognition, chart formulas and stuff. So let's run this. And the model is quite small. It is loaded successfully. Next up, let's do the inference. So first up, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it a local image. We are encoding the image and then the task. Let me also specify the task here. So the task here is OCR and we will also check out other tasks. And this image looks like this, which is a multilingual paragraph with a lot of languages from across the globe, some European and then some Asian and other parts of the world. And then we are encoding it. Model is generating the output and we are printing the answer. So let's run this and we will see how it performs. And it has returned as the result. And just quickly looking at it, I can immediately find a lot of mistakes. For example, if you look at the last one, I think this is Russian and it hasn't done well there. But for English, it is quite good as is the case with few other European languages like German and stuff looks, uh, the umlauts are there. And for Chinese also, visually checking looks good to me. For example, look at this one. And maybe this one is, I'm not really sure. So if you are that language speaker or writer, please let me know. I think for European languages, Chinese, it has done well. Now, I don't even see the Arabic anywhere here because there is Arabic in it. I don't even see the Hindi there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick up now Arabic script, just Arabic one, and then try it out. And I will show you VRAM consumption. So I have just picked up this Arabic image and there are some images too and let's run this. While it runs, let's check the VRAM consumption. And the VRAM is very, very, you know, very low footprint, 2.5 gig. You can easily run it on CPU, no, no problems there. Okay, so that is good, but let's check the quality of the response. Now, visually checking, you know what, looks good to me. Yep, so I mean, I really can't really uh, write Arabic, so but visually checking, it looks good to me. So OCR, and I think characters have been done well. There are a few mistakes here and there. For example, look here, 
there are double dots here but i just see single dot or something like that but overall not bad at all so quite promising in terms of arabic i would say okay let's check out few other languages next up i am going to do this french driving license all ai generated by the way one thing i have noticed the speed is quite good as you can see okay let's compare and you have to help me if you are french speaker look visually checking this one is good and where is this word yep it's over there so it has gone vertically all in all i think quite a better job has it done this something over it number or not so this is 853729 but it hasn't really done this small script okay so that is okay it is okay job i would say it is like earth shattering okay let's try out another one next up i am doing this hindi script and let's run this and you have to help me okay taking bit of a time for hindi let's quickly check the visually hey, look i'm just matching the characters not bad i mean as far as i can see look and i'm just checking random words so please if you are the hindi um speaker please please let us know in the comments and this is a persian let's check if persian is good i don't know so you have to tell me i'm just displaying it pause the video check and let me know in the comments next up is swahili and for swahili i think it is it is quite okay cuz looks like an english script here okay that's fine and this is the urdu one where well i don't th think so it has done again a good job there are various words where the for example look at this 1 2 3 4 5 5 look at the fifth word it's not joined and then this word is here so i think i want to say it's a good job with the urdu language and this is indonesian bahasa let's check it out yeah that one is quite good because the script is sort of english yep that is good enough okay let's do an invoice now so this is the invoice which i'm going to check i'll just make it bit bigger so this is the invoice and what i'm doing here is i have uh, given the task table because i want to do the table recognition and then this is invoice.jpg let's run this and i will display the invoice to a bit so it has done the table recognition it says logo goes here which is correct and then the watermark it was unable to detect and then address is good there is invoice.com yeah that is okay so yes in terms of extracting the text from the tables and stuff it is okay and you can use the pedal pedal to save it as a markdown or stuff which is an extra step or you can do your own jiggling but it can definitely extract the text from the table which is uh, which is good but i think now we have lot of model look at country vl which we have covered on the channel it would just display everything uh, in a proper format so i think the bar has really really gone very high and this is a handwritten image and i think it has done well yep not bad at all and now we have this image i'm just trying to see if it can do latex or not so but it can you can see that it has of course we can change it to properly display that latex format but it has at least extracted that text as you can see here all the parts are there so that text extraction as is is quite good no doubt about that and the speed is quite too so what i'm going to do i'm just going to keep the same image but instead of ocr i will just say formula extraction so just formula because these are the stuff it it does so i'm just going to run it again let's see what happens now let's wait for it taking its time and it has done the job again and the formula was extracted okay let's finally do a quick chart one 
So I'm just going to give it this chart dot jpg here. Let's run this. Let's see what it does. Let's compare. So all the items are there and then numbers are also there. You see it has just detected that the values itself. You see two and four, three point one. This is impressive. No doubt about that. And these are also good on both x axis and y axis. What about this sex slash page? I don't see it anywhere. Yep, that is something which it has missed. But other than that, this one and this one, it has got it right. Okay, so that's it. Um, let me know what do you think. It's quite uh, interesting model, I would say. Much, much better than the previous ones. But I believe the competition in OCR, AI-powered OCR has gone way up. Multilinguality is okay, but can be improved a lot. So let's wait to see how it goes. But size is just 0.9 billion. So if you see the size, then I think uh, we have to really praise the model because given the size, it, it is definitely punching above its weight. So that's it. Let me know what do you think. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.